What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create an HVAC system. Okay, so in this floor, our first floor HVAC duct. So we are going to create our HVAC system. So let's say I want to include this six air terminals. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So sorry about my voice. I'm having a hiccup right now. Okay, so I have six air terminals so i'm going to create the duct for that automatically okay so let's do this so the first thing that we will be doing let's create a system so to create a system you just need to select one of the air terminal that you would like to be part of the system or you can select all the air terminals that you would like to be part of of the system so let's click one and then hold control and then let's click the other air terminals that's it okay so after that just look for the create systems on your modify air terminals contextual tab so you have the create systems systems there so just click duct here to create your duct system there you go and then you can specify here the name so let's say this is my what's this uh first floor okay you can just type any name that you want first floor okay and then after that just select okay and that's it so as you, as you can see this is now part of the system so if you click one of the air terminals here so you will now notice it has two contextual tab so if this one is not yet part part of the system you can only see modify air terminals but since this is already part of the system so you now have your duct duct systems here right so if i'm going to select the other air terminal that is not part of the system so let me click that as you can see i only have here one context contextual tab okay so i only have this and then i can create a system but for this one if i click this one so i have here two contextual tab so one modify air terminals the other one is duct system so that's how you check it if an air terminal is already part of the system Another way is by using your system browser. System browser. System browser. You just need to right click on the blank space, look for browsers, and then look for system browser. So here in the system browser, make sure systems is select selected. So if you select one of the air terminal here, as you can see, it highlights. So if you're going to move the slider down, it's actually under an assigned, right? okay so if i'm going to select this one click that and then let me move the slider down so it's here it's already part of the mechanical system right so if i select uh let's say this one here so it's not yet part of the system that's why it's under here so it's under unassigned okay so that's how you check so you can use your system browser so let's say you want to know what's the property of this so just click that one so it's still unassigned so just exp expand that and then you can see that it's on the supply air rectangular diffuser okay right so i'm gonna create now my ductwork okay so to create the ductwork so this one is automatically so i'm going to select one of the air terminal that is already part of the system and then from the layout here, you can see that there's a generate layout, generate placeholder, connect into, and then you also have air terminal on dock. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to select generate layout. But before doing that, before doing that, so you can also go to your uh, uh, systems tab. And then you can open up your mechanical settings or you can type MS. That's the shortcut. And then let's look for conversion. So here in the, the conversion, this is the settings if you're going to create your ductwork automatically. Like for example, for the supply air, this is the duct type that we will that will be used, and then this is the elevation that will be used automatically now for the branch so these are the settings so this is the duct type you have the elevation so you have the flex duct flex duct type 
and then you have the maximum flex duct length. So these are the settings that you will be having if you are go if you are going to automate the creation of your duct. Okay? So if you want to change that to let's say return air, so these are the settings. If you change that to exhaust air, so these are the these are the settings. Of course, you can always change this one. So you can change the duct type here. You can change the elevation. You can change the branch settings. All right. So that's it for our mechanical settings. So that's why if I'm going to generate my layout, let me just go back again there. The height is 10, full, uh, 10, 10 feet 7 inches. Okay for the main and then branch. So let me okay this one. So I'm gonna select this one. This is already part of the system. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select ge generate layout. So let's click that one. And then before I finish the layout, I have here some options for the solution. So you have solution type. So the first one is net network. We have two options here. Click that. So you see that's the option. And then you can also modify the settings of that <coughs> network. So you can modify that. So that's the setting of the dock. So that's the setting of the height, the offset. And then for the branch, you can also change it. So basically, this is, this is the settings of our mechanical settings. So let me just cancel this one. Color green here. This is your uh, branch. Color blue, that is your main. Okay, so that's why you go to settings. So you have here main and then you have the branch. Okay, so the main dock here is the blue one. And then the branch dock here is the green ones. Okay, so hope that one is clear. So that's for the network. So let's explore uh, the other options or solution types. So you have perimeter. So this is the perimeter. So you, can, you have four solutions. So that's your perimeter. You can modify the settings. You can modify the inset. And then you also have intersection. You have two options. But for this one, I want network. There you go. So there's the network. Okay. So once I'm done, so I just need to select here, finish layout. And that's it. Okay. So let's check this one out in the 3D view. So I'm going to select this, hold control, select this dock, uh, this air terminal, and then hold control. Select this air terminal and then after that, let's select your selection box. Click that one. There you go. So let's adjust the selection box or the section box so we can see our model. Okay, there you go. This one here, this is a little, it's, it's a bit tight. So that's why it doesn't show our flexible dock here nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually edit this one. Okay, so I'm just going to use the split tool. Where is my split tool? Modify this one. Split. So I'm going to split here and then here. There you go. Escape. And then let's select this. Delete. Let's delete this. Then let's move this one here and then connect here. There you go. Oops. Undo. Let's change again. What? What is happening? Let me undo. All right. There you go. Okay, so that's now my uh, duct layout. So if I'm going to select this air terminal, so you can see that it's now already part of the system here. So let's expand that. Let's see where is this one. So let's click. Oh, let's click this one. There you go. Expand that. There you go. Okay. So it's here. So you can also see there the total CFM. Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. Okay. So if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so once again thank you for watching have a nice day